Flav City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you from my favorite place, the grocery store. But today is the darker side of Flav City at the grocery store. Uh, I wanna show you how the foods you're buying every day and eating are not really foods. They're loaded with ingredients that are not real. They have no nutritional value and they're doing nothing but making you sick and unhealthy. Unfortunately, the grocery store, especially the middle aisles, is full of this kind of stuff and it's cheap and it's filler food and people gravitate to it, but it's not food. So I wanna identify those uh, items, identify the ingredients you wanna stay away from and why, because at the end of the day, this channel is about helping you put the best quality stuff in your body so you can thrive. Uh, before we get in there and do our thing we always do, like, subscribe, share, spread that Flav City love, but you might also wanna check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. Thrive is a six-year supporter of the channel, and the reason why I like them is everything you would find at the grocery store is on Thrive Market, but it's cheaper. You save about $32 per order, and that box comes to your door. More importantly, right now, Flav City fans are getting the hookup. When you click the link in the description box, you get 25% off your first order, a free gift, which one of those free gifts right now is two cartons of Kettle and Fire bone broth, and it's 30 days risk-free, so try it out using my link down below. Less talking, more shopping. Let's get in that store. This aisle is for the parents out there. If you're giving your kids juice, and it happens to be one of these kind of juice, Kool-Aid, Sunny D, High C, Capri Sun, it's not juice. It literally is not only sugar water, it's beyond that, Sunny D. So the main ingredient is GMO high fructose corn syrup, even more addictive than sugar. Look at all these ingredients here. Sure, there is some uh, juice here, but it's from concentrate. And you have all of these preservatives here, along with yellow number six food coloring. So that is a major no for Sunny D. Even those com commercials back in the day, mom, give me a Sunny D. That's a no. Kool-Aid Jam, Space Jam. Space Jam was a movie in the late, early 90s with Michael Jordan. Why is this still around? Are they revising the movie or something like that? Shows how much I know about pop culture. Uh, I knew you don't know about ingredients though. High fructose, this is ridiculous. They're using cartoons, Bugs Bunny, and they're getting kids in with the addictive corn syrup. Artificial flavoring, blue number one, and a nasty preservative called calcium disodium EDTA. All of these stuff are not even juice. They're beyond sugar concoctions that are highly addictive. If you're gonna give juice, just give them something down there just juice. Ideally, it's be something from the fridge section that is not from concentrate, because from concentrate is very, very processed. But this stuff is terrible, and I see people scanning it with the Bobby Approved app. If you don't know about it, just go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, search Bobby Approved. It's my free app. You can scan any barcode at any grocery store. It reads the ingredients if it tells you if it's Bobby Approved or not. If there's bad ingredients, swipe up. It'll show you there. It's designed so you put the best quality stuff in your body, and it's free. So download it. I'll put a link down below and use it at the grocery store. And more importantly, even though Space Jam is back, I don't want that back in your pantry. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe they're still selling this. This was popular back in the 80s when they thought that butter and saturated fat was the devil. So they invented fats like this, which are man-made hydrogenated fats. They thought that was better for you. Then it turned out they were worse for you than butter. This is crazy that people are still buying this. It says it's made from plant-based oils. Well, technically that is true, but when it's a mix of soybean oil, so they got rid of the hydrogenated, it's GMO soybean oil mixed with highly processed, horrible for the environment, palm oil, natural flavors to give it a butter flavor and some color to give it a butter color. This is nothing but a mix of very processed oils. The problem, the problem is highly, I can't focus. The problem is they're highly inflammatory oils. So it's nothing but processed inflammatory oils. And even when you have something, oh, country crock, yeah, right. Even when you have something that is country crock, olive oil here, you think it's gonna be a mix of olive oil, which is good for you. It's actually palm oil, canola oil, and then olive oil. I can promise you it's in that order, meaning the least amount of oil is olive oil. The thing is, it's still a concoction of nothing but processed plant-based oils, of which are very, very inflammatory. What is with these noises? Uh, if you want a plant-based spread, your best option, and it's not perfect, would be something called Miyoko's. You can get that at most grocery okay. stores or at Trader Joe's, okay? Uh, but this kind of stuff is super duper bad. I would honestly put this kind of stuff in the category of not even being food. If you're consuming this kind of stuff as a quick on-the-go breakfast, 
These have been around forever. I remember in the 80s growing up with these. This is super bad news. You're better off, in my opinion, not even eating food than eating this because this is a what, toaster uh, bar here made with enriched flour, but the second ingredient is sugar followed by dextrose, which is sugar, followed by high fructose GMO corn syrup. Three types of sugar to the tune of, holy cow, 33 grams of sugar for two pastries here. So let's just call it 16 per. That is crazy. That's four teaspoons per pastry here, followed by GMO soybean oil, palm oil. TBHQ is a preservative banned in other countries. More GMO corn syrup here, and then less than two ingredients there. Datum is a uh, ingredient in cheap bread to make it proof. Caramel coloring is a horrible ingredient that some people say is a known carcinogen. I would rather not eat breakfast than have that. I'd rather just have a banana, to be honest. So th this is not food in my opinion. And even these bars here, I mean, there's very few bars that are gonna be Bobby approved, but a lot of these are just sugary uh, treats that look like they're healthy, but I've never seen this one before. Fruit Loop cereal bar and Tony the Tiger, they're great cereal bars. So if anyone's feeding to those kids, please, you might want to stop because those ingredients are scary. Blue number one, red number 40 to make it colorful. Red number 40 and other food uh, coloring are banned in other countries. Palm oil, tons of sugar, GMO corn oil, uh, corn flour, crazy, crazy stuff in this wall that looks like some might be healthy and they're not, especially tu Toucan, what was his name? Tony the, tu no, Tony the Tiger and someone the Toucan. Can we just start a petition already to stop companies from advertising kid food products? Whoa, my God, what the heck? <laughs> it's just a crazy day at the grocery store. Can we please stop putting children's cartoons and whatnot on the cover of food stuff to lure kids in because it's completely deceptive and it makes parents have to buy it when the kids are begging. And when you put it on something like this, which is not even food, it's even more infuriating. If you want to put that on an apple, that's fine with me. But fruit by the foot, there's barely any foot in here. <laughs> there's barely any fruit in here. There's plenty of feet probably. So uh, sugar, GMO maltodextrin, GMO corn syrup. The only fruit in here is pear puree concentrate. More importantly, the sugar is nine grams per serving. But look at this, there's carrageenan, there's red 40, blue one, and other preservatives in here. This is not food. They do make fruit snacks, and I showed them at other grocery stores like Costco, that are just fruit, okay? That's way better than something like this that barely has any fruit and all sugar and additives. This should not be right, and advertising that, and oh my God, look at this. Princesses and the Incredible Hulk. There's no way the Incredible Hulk and Captain America and um, Iron Man are eating this kind of stuff. No chance. Sometimes I don't think people realize how much sugar is in the drink they have every day. They think it's gonna have some sugar, but if you look how much is in here, it can be staggering. So this is a big can of Arizona iced tea. Back in the day, the long old days, I used to drink this when I was a kid. The thing is, this is staggering. There's 32 grams of added sugar for the can. Everyone's gonna drink the old can, right? You're not gonna leave half of that for another time. But the problem is, the sweetener isn't even cane sugar. It's high fructose corn syrup. And natural flavors is bad, but I don't really care about that here. High fructose corn syrup is the worst kind of sweetener possible. Cane sugar is bad. High fructose is the one, number one, from GMO corn, but it's the highly addictive sweetener that really increases the risk of heart disease and diabetes. So this is crazy. But the same is true for almost all of these drinks, not just tea. You wanna see something crazy, this one looks like something that might not even be sweetened. It says lemon tea. And this is even smaller than that previous one. 38, my friends, there are four grams of sugar in a teaspoon. So this is almost 10 teaspoons per bottle of sugar. So at least this is sugar, but still 10 teaspoons is crazy. The average American consumes about 19.5 teaspoons per day. So this would be over half of your daily uh, value from this. And the 19 and a half teaspoons is already too much. This is crazy. This is not a tea. This is what we call on this channel liquid diabetes. So the moral of the story, if you're gonna have a beverage, make it unsweetened and don't go for the cruddy ones that are sugar-free that have addictive man-made chemical sweeteners. Just look at the ingredients because that, my friends, is wrong.
All right, Flame City family. If, if I was the president and this was the State of the Union, I would start my speech by saying the State of the Union is very, very bad. Very bad, but we can only go up from here. It frustrates me because I see what people are scanning with my app. And you walk around any grocery store anywhere in America and the bulk of the products are just loaded with stuff you don't need in your body. It's profits over health. I think the tide is turning slowly but surely, but we still have a lot of work to do, which is why I love making these videos for you guys. I'm not telling you have to buy the best stuff out there, but reading the ingredients so you know what goes in your body, so you're not putting fake food, you're putting real ingredients in. Uh, so that is it. I wanna make more videos like this pretty soon. Let me know what you wanna see. Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, share, spread that Flavor City love. But from the grocery store, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. Later.